Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today is a day in the life video. We are in pre-season, so I'm back with my club Flower City Union. We've been in pre-season for about two weeks now. Had a really good off-season, very productive, but now it's time to take all that hard work and now put it into practice. So we've been getting together every day now pretty much for two weeks, getting some training in. We only signed a handful of players from last season, so it's a brand new locker room, a lot of new faces, plenty of talent. Now we're just learning how to work together and gel and be cohesive as a unit. So today is a pre-season friendly, so it'll be a good test for us to see how the chemistry is at this point in our journey. So we'll be playing out on the main pitch I'm going to show you some match highlights as well. Really looking forward to getting some minutes and getting some touches. But I like to come in early in the morning and get my own individual warm up before going out to the pitch. So I'm going to take you through that and show you all the things I like to do that helps me feel activated, sharp and ready to go. And I'm also going to be doing a few more of these day in the lifestyle videos because although I know it's really important to show you those technical workouts and I've got plenty of those on my channel, it's also important to show you the other areas of being an athlete. Everything that goes on behind the scenes, including nutrition, strength workouts, recovery, and everything else. So if there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know in the comment section down below. But just before we get into my individual warm-up, I wanted to announce a new partnership. So I've partnered with Football Supplements for the season. So Football Supplements are a football-specific supplement company, and they provide supplements to top-level athletes, top-level clubs, such as Atletico Madrid. So you know they're used by some of the best players in the world. And I've been testing them out this pre-season and been really enjoying them. My favorite so far is Kickoff which is their pre-training supplement, helps you feel more energized, more focused. It's got caffeine and some L-citrulline in there, so it's really gonna help you enjoy those really intense training sessions. So I've been really enjoying it. It's a great flavor, blue raspberry, and I've been using it every single morning. I put one scoop in my water about 30 minutes before training, and it's been helping me get through these really intense pre-season training sessions. I've also been using Intra, which is something I use during my sessions. So every time we get a water break, I go over and take a few sips, and it just provides me with some carbohydrates and some electrolytes. So carbohydrates are, of course, the main energy source for footballers, so it's gonna help me feel energized. But also electrolytes are really important to replenish. And then post-session, I like to take proteins. So football supplements also have their own protein powder. Again, formulated especially for footballers, but protein is so important to help speed up that recovery, repair some of those damaged muscle fibers, which get under a lot of stress during an intense training session. So you want to get protein in your system as quickly as possible. And then finally, I've also been taking extra time. So this is a carbohydrate gel, and I'll just take one out to the pitch with me. And if I'm ever feeling fatigued or we get a break where I feel like I need to replenish some of my carbohydrates, I'll quickly take one of these gels as well. It's just a quick way to get some energy back in the system, especially if you're in half time or it's in a late stage of the game where you just feel like you need an extra boost. It's good just to put one of those in your system and you'll feel energized and ready to go. So I'm really looking forward to partnering with football supplements through the season, helping me fuel my sessions. So I'm excited to see how they can benefit me on the pitch this season as well. And if you want to check out any of these supplements for yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below as well as my own unique code so you can actually get a discount off your purchase as well if you wanted to try these out for yourself so i really appreciate football supplements for partnering with me through my season helping me be at the top of my game and make sure you check them out for yourself but anyway let's go get warmed up so I'm going to take you through my own individual mobility and activation routine. This is something I recommend to every player. It's going to help you perform better on the pitch athletically. It's also going to help you prevent injuries. And earlier on in your career, you can start this kind of routine. It's just going to prolong your career even more. So I start off with some blood flow. So I just get on the bike for about five to 10 minutes, just at a steady speed, not too intense, but just getting that blood flowing around the body to get it nice and warm. And then I do some backwards walking on the treadmill this is really good to get circulation to the knees which is obviously a very common problem area for a lot of footballers we're putting a lot of stress on our knees so it's good to get some blood flow in there nourish them helps them feel warmed up and ready to go i'll go on the treadmill for about three to five minutes depending on the day and depending how sore i am and after those two small cardio exercises i'll go in and get into my mobility and activation routine so i always take my shoes off i think it's good to activate the muscles in the feet 
feet. And you can't often do that as well in shoes. So I'd recommend taking off those shoes for your mobility routines. And then I just get into a few mobility exercises. So here I'm opening up the hips and also get some rotation of the back as well. So really just trying to open up the body as much as possible, allow for a greater range of movement. And that's just gonna allow me to prevent injuries because in a match or in a training session, you might be forced to extend into these positions. And if you're not warmed up and ready to go, it's a quick way to get injured. So I'm focusing a lot on the hips throughout this routine, as you'll see. This is an area of the body, especially for footballers, that usually take quite a bit of strain. Your hips are always under stress. So I'd recommend opening those up as often as you can. So a lot of these exercises are good at doing that. As you can see, getting some leg swings here as well. I usually play a rule of thumb doing about 10 to 15 repetitions of each of the exercises that I'm gonna show you. And I'm getting a good variety in here. So if you do these, you will feel warm and will feel activated. And then after some mobility, I'll go into some resistant band exercises. So resistance bands are a great tool to have in your bag. You can get a collection of them, about four to five bands on Amazon or Google, depending on where you find them. But they usually have different resistances as well, starting from extra light all the way up to extra heavy. I like to work with an extra heavy band just so it becomes a small workout. Doing this every day is really going to activate those muscle fibers and activate those hard to activate areas, especially in the glutes, the groins, as well as the hamstrings and quads. All of these areas really need to be fired up before going into an intense session or a match. So all of these exercises, once again, I usually go through about 10 repetitions of each, making sure I'm really warm, ready to go, firing up all of those muscle fibers so that they can perform to their highest level. Then I'll finish with some small plyometric exercises, not doing a really intense plyo session here, but just getting everything springy, ready to go. So as you can see, I'm on the balls of my feet, activating those foot muscles, and then also really activating the Achilles area as well. That's where you're really springing from, especially in your accelerations. So if you fire this area up, you're gonna be able to take off quicker. And just by incorporating these exercises into your routine often, you're gonna feel a lot quicker off the mark. Then I'm going into some a skips because I really want to activate those hip flexors as well. So this is another area that's quite hard to activate if you're not spending specific time on them. So I'll always make sure I'm activating the hip flexors as well. They're really important for sprinting and accelerating. And then I'll do some lateral movements as well because in football, you're not always going in one direction or a straight line. You're always going in multi directions. So getting some lateral movements in there. And then finally, I'll spend some time with the massage gun, just getting some extra blood flow around the body. So I'll massage the feet around the Achilles and the heels, the calves, all these areas that usually get tight as a footballer, especially after an intense week of training. It's good to loosen those areas up, get some of the soreness out and increase that blood flow. And then it was time to get out to the pitch and start the match.
So I'm back home from the game now. I took a shower, made a post-game meal as you guys saw, and now I'm taking care of some recovery. So for my post-game meal, I had four eggs because I want it to be very high protein. As I mentioned earlier on in the video, protein is the number one muscle rebuilder. So especially after an intense training session or a match, you need to be getting good quality protein in the body. Had my football supplements at the locker room. Then I got home, made four eggs, and on top I sprinkled some microgreens, which are very nutrient-dense leaves that you can use as a supplement. If you don't get a lot of vegetables in your diet, you can still get that same amount of nutrients in a small batch of microgreens. So look into those. And then I also made a protein smoothie. So I had a banana, mixed berries, some Greek yogurt, vanilla protein powder with collagen and then on top of that I had oat milk as well so that was my post game meal really enjoyed the match great to get some minutes and play with some of my new teammates that's what these preseason friendlies are all about building some chemistry getting to know each other on the pitch we've been doing a lot of inter squad friendly matches just against each other in training so now it's good to get that opportunity to go against a neutral opponent start implementing some of the tactics we've been working on in training and also figure out some of maybe our weaknesses some of the things that aren't going so well so now we can address them in training before a regular season match because you don't want to be waiting till the season to fix some of these things so that's what these preseason friendlies are a great opportunity for so i really enjoyed that good to get some minutes under the belt get some match fitness but now i'm taking care of some recovery this evening so as you guys saw i just did a quick stretch did some foam rolling and now i'm doing some compression so these are recovery boots from speedhound i've been working with speedhound for a couple years now on my recovery they provide some of the best recovery tools that i've ever experienced so these are the recovery boots i did the full length leg ones just before for 30 minutes and now i'm doing this set which is mainly focusing on the hips and the glutes so it's basically just like getting a sports massage. It compresses the muscles, then releases, fills up with air. So this is a great way to get that same effect at home because of course sports massages are very expensive. So you can't be doing those every day. Well, not everyone can at least. So this is a great way to still get that same effect on a daily basis. So I usually do this at the end of the day. Sometimes I'll do it in the morning if I want a little bit of activation, but I also use the massage gun as well from Speedhound. That just gets the blood flowing, helps me feel prepared, gets the muscles activated. I tend to use this before training and then the recovery boots after. So I've been working with Speedhound for a couple of years. They provide the best products for me. And then this evening I'll get a good meal and make sure I'm getting a good night's rest as well. Just before bed, I'll usually have a herbal tea chamomile or some kind of cinnamon tea or something like that that relaxes the body and it helps you get a good night's rest as well it's really important to get good night's sleep every night but especially after a tough day you want to let that body heal and when you sleep that's when the body repairs all those cells repair so it's really important that you're taking care of your sleep as well as all of these recoveries of course all of these things are an investment they're not cheap by any means the supplements the recovery tools but that's what it is it's an investment so you'll get a reward over time just by taking care of all these small little details it's important that you're doing the most on the pitch in your training sessions but also doing the most off the pitch as well with your recovery that's how you grow stronger and it's a big part of how you improve as a footballer so make sure you're doing as much as you can with your recovery staying hydrated eating the right things eating as clean as possible and doing your stretches your massage your foam roll and all of those things as well so if you want any of the tools the supplements that i've shown in today's video that i use on a daily basis and thankfully the companies that i work with are generous enough to offer 7mlc viewers a discount on all of their products i'll leave links to all of those in the description box below as well as my unique code that you can use if you want to pick any of this up for yourself i'd fully recommend them so i hope you enjoyed today's video seeing an insight into what a match day is typically like for me as mentioned let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything in particular you want to see from this series and i'll try and cover that in a future video but i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure you smash the like button hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos and i will see you guys in my next video